Hey there, I'm Robbie, and in this movie I want to show you a very cool feature involving Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition, and that feature is called Automatic Speech Alignment. But you might know this feature by a different name, ADR, or Automatic or Automated Dialogue Replacement. ADR is a process in which we replace reference or source audio with high quality audio usually recorded back in the studio in say a VO booth. And a lot of major motion pictures employ this technique to replace field audio. We can do this exact same process now in Adobe Premiere Pro by using Adobe Audition as a little bit of a helper. And let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Here in this project, I have a pretty simple sequence. Here on video one and audio one, I have some video and then the audio that was recorded with that clip. Then down here on audio two, I have another audio clip. And this clip down here on audio two was audio that I recorded back in the VO booth in my studio. First, let's take a listen to the sequence with just the video clip and the original audio. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an editor's guide to Adobe Premiere Pro. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound too good. There was a lot of room tone. I could hear some air conditioning in the background. I think I might have even left the TV on. And obviously this is audio that I want to fix and replace with some higher quality audio. So as I mentioned, what I did was I went back into the studio and re-recorded my line there as I was watching the clip. And that's what's down here on audio track two. So let me go ahead and turn off audio one and toggle on audio two. And then let's take another listen. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an editor's guide to Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, that sounds much, much better, but there is a slight issue. If you watch that back again, pay attention to the lip sync. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an editor's guide to Adobe Premiere Pro. Did you notice that the lip sync wasn't perfect? Well, this is actually a common problem when doing ADR type work. Even when you have a very talented actor or a VO person, they're not gonna always be able to hit every single word with extreme precision. So to fix this problem, what we can do is go ahead and send this entire sequence over to Adobe Audition to take advantage of the new automatic speech alignment feature. So to do that, what I'm first gonna do is let's turn audio track one back on there and then over here in my project panel, let me go ahead and right click on the sequence itself and choose edit in Adobe Audition and then sequence. Here in the dialog box that pops up, I'm fine with all the default options. I do wanna make sure that I'm exporting preview video. That way I can actually see the video as I'm working with the audio. And then of course I wanna make sure that after I click okay here that Adobe Audition opens up. So let me go ahead and click okay. And then in just a moment, Adobe Audition will open up with our sequence. Now, I always think it's a good idea when you send a project over from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition to just take another listen to make sure that everything translated okay. I actually have both clips enabled here, so we'll really be able to hear how the clips don't align. Let's take a listen. Hi, I'm, I'm Robbie, and, and thanks, thanks for reading an editor's, editor's guide to Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro. Pro. Hi, I'm, I'm Robbie, and, and thanks, thanks for reading an editor's, editor's guide to Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro. Pro. Okay, so that alignment is pretty good, but it's not spot on. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is select both of these clips and then come up to the clip menu here and then down to automatic speech alignment. And Adobe Audition does a pretty good job guessing what the reference clip is and the unaligned clip is. You can see here in the reference clip, it shows properly ADR extracted. And then down here in the unaligned section, it also shows properly ADR studio extracted. Now, why does it say extracted? Remember when you send a project or a clip over from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition, it extracts that audio so that any work that you do is non-destructive. Also, you might notice that you can choose reference channels for both the reference audio as well as the unaligned clip. And in this particular example, both those options are grayed out because I'm working with mono audio, but if you were working with multi-channel audio, you could choose the proper channel to work with. Down here in the alignment menu, I actually have three options, tightest alignment, balanced alignment and stretching, and then smoothest stretching. Now, if you're anything like me, your inkling is probably to go towards tightest alignment. After all, why wouldn't you want to have the absolute tightest alignment between these two clips? Well, here's why. If the clips are not aligned perfectly, which no clips are, oftentimes what will have to happen is stretching will have to be performed to line up those clips. 
And when you choose tightest alignment, you might have a lot of stretching going on, especially if the clips weren't well aligned to begin with. And when you have a lot of stretching going on in the audio, well, it sometimes sounds pretty weird and doesn't sound good. So in most circumstances, I avoid the tightest alignment option. Instead, I usually choose balanced alignment and stretching or smoothest stretching. Now in your own projects, you'll have to experiment with what sounds the best. But for this particular project, I'm going to make sure that I chose balance alignment and stretching. Then down here at the bottom of the dialog, I have two additional options. With this option selected right here, reference clip is noisy, Adobe Audition will do some internal noise reduction on the reference clip, so when it aligns it with a high quality clip, it's not making any mistakes because there's noise in the clip. And then finally, you can add the new aligned clip to a new track. I'm going to make sure both of these options are checked, which they are, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Then in just a second, Adobe Audition processes the clip and then places it on a new track. Let me go ahead and mute Audio 2 and Audio 1 here. And then let's take a look over here in the video panel and watch for lip sync. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an editor's guide to Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an... Now you might have noticed one additional problem. The studio audio sounds, well, kind of dry. And ADR editors, yes, there are such people, will always tell you that alignment is only one part of the job. After aligning the high quality audio with the video picture, what you'll often need to do is go back in and layer in things like NAT sound, making it even more important, by the way, to record some nice room tone. Okay, so I've aligned the high quality audio back with my picture, and to get this back over to Adobe Premiere Pro, all I simply need to do is come up to the multi-track menu, and then choose Export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Then here in the Export to Adobe Premiere Pro dialog, I'm going to make sure I export each track as a stem and then open back up in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let me go ahead and click Export. Adobe Premiere Pro opens back up and it says, hey, Adobe Audition was trying to send me something. What do you want to do? Copy this stuff to a new track or do you want to copy it to an existing track? I'm going to choose New Audio Track and click OK. Now let me go ahead and make this a little bigger. You'll notice that I have Audio track three here, which is my aligned track, and then I have two additional tracks. Those were my original tracks. Remember, because I sent two tracks over from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition, so I don't actually need those. So I'll just go ahead and delete those. And then let's turn off the original audio tracks and listen one more time to the aligned track. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an editor's guide to Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, I'm Robbie, and thanks for reading an editor's guide to Adobe Premiere Pro. Very, very cool. So there you have it, automatic speech alignment with Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. It's worth noting that this workflow is also one that you can use in dual system recording, such as you find with, say, DSLR productions. In those type of productions, you'll often record reference audio on your camera and then high quality audio with a digital audio recorder. And if you're not using a third party tool like Dual Eyes, you could also use this workflow to align your high quality audio with the video.